What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? First day of 2020. Hopefully everyone had a good year. Hopefully you got a New Year's resolution to catch more fish. I got just the right stuff to do that for you. First up, we got a bunch of new swim baits from Evergreen International. So the first one here is a new ES flat glide bait. So small shad profile glide bait to slow sinking bait. Just an awesome little glide bait. You know, the perfect size, I believe it's five and three quarter inches long or five and a quarter inches long. Just something that all size bass species will eat, you know, uh, small mouth spotted bass, everything will take a shot at this size bait. Uh, you mean you can catch everything from two pounders all the way up to 10 pounders. Uh, just like all the evergreen baits, the, the outside finishes are phenomenal on them. They have sticky, sharp treble hooks, just quality components, uh, great swimming action. Next up, we got their new ES Drive glide bait. So this is a pretty unique glide bait. It has a long, slender body, unlike most glide baits out there on the market. Uh, and then it's also got this long board extending out into the bottom of the chin. What that does is it helps catch more water and you get a little bit wider gliding action on it. Um, it's also got a pretty wide joint in it, so it's got a lot of freedom of movement. Um, I mean, it only weighs about an ounce or an ounce and a half, I believe. You know, you'd, you don't need specialty equipment to throw this. You can throw this on your standard, you know, medium heavy jig rod um, and you'll be just fine. You don't need to jump right into, you know, full bore swim bait rods and big reels and big line and all that stuff. Um, just like the other ones, great finishes, really sharp hooks on them, uh, ready to fish right out the box. Last up from Evergreen, this one's actually my favorite. This is the new Evergreen Bream Slide Glide Bait. So as you can see, this is one of the most realistic bluegill swim baits ever created. It's super cool, has the printed finish on the side, the molded gill plates and 3D eyes. It also has the hard fins on top and the bottom, but with the addition of the soft rubber pectoral fins, pelvic fins, and soft rubber tail as well. So. You get that secondary action, you get that little bit of you know, shimmering movement out of the fins there. On this one, it is a floating bait and it does have a tighter joint in it. So it doesn't glide as wide as some of the other baits. It has, it has a much narrower S swimming action. So you can reel it super fast, super slow, whatever you'd like. And you can also impart you know, twitches of the reel or snaps of the rod and it'll turn and dart out to the side at a 90 degree angle. And it's just, that's a perfect time for following fish to come up behind it and just chew this thing. Um, out of the box, it comes with hand-tied feather treble hooks, so just a little bit different. You know, it adds a little bit more action to your bait, a little bit more flair, hides those hook points a little bit. Uh, super cool bait by Evergreen. You're definitely going to want to check out. All right, for all the crankbait guys out there, we got a couple super cool crankbaits from PH Custom Lures. So the first one here is Dollar Bill's uh, Lowen, Bill Lowen's Craw Crankbait. So just, you know, hand-carved out of balsa wood like all the PH Custom Lures. Uh, if you've never fished a PH Custom's bait, they're awesome. They're all handmade. Uh, they got premium components on them, circuit board lips, razor sharp hooks. This one's got that lifelike crawdad shape to it, so it gets really tight action. This one's going to be deadly here coming up in the spring when fish really start feeding on crawdads before the spawn. And then the next one we got, this is a pretty exciting crankbait. We got the P-Series square bill crankbait. Now this is actually developed after the, the original Zoom WEC E-Series crankbait. So all the crankbait junkies out there know what I'm talking about. That crankbait is no longer made anymore and people are selling for 50 to 100 bucks on eBay. They go for a lot of money. Um, they have the, the PH Customs got the body shape down, the bill to replicate that bait. So it's a large bulbous crankbait. So it's really buoyant. It bounces off cover, cover really well and it has that ultra wide square bill on it. So it has an amazing wide hunting action to it and you can go through anything with this crankbait. It's a, this is a true four wheel drive style crankbait. So, brush, lay downs, rocks, anything you want to do, uh, this crankbait's going to go through it for you. And then, uh, you know, custom hand painted paint jobs on there, super sharp hooks, just awesome crankbait to fish right out of the box. All right, we got a bunch of terminal stuff here for you. So the first batch of things we got here is from Heavy Metal Tungsten. So Heavy Metal Tungsten's giving you, um, you know, tungsten options for a bunch of different, uh, you know, standard terminal tackle pieces. So the first one, we got a swinging football jig head. If you guys have never fished a swinging football jig head yet, you guys are missing out. This is an awesome way to fish tons of soft plastics. You can fish anything on these from craws to creature baits, uh, big worms. You can even fish swim baits on them. And you have that swinging, uh, that swinging hook design, so your, your bait gets a lot more action. And then, you know, when you're using tungsten, you just have a much smaller head. This is a three-quarter ounce, and it's, it's smaller than a normal half ounce of lead, lead head. So you get increased sensitivity, smaller profile, just makes your profile look a little bit more natural. And then we also have a stand-up shaky head, and then we have a round ball head. So two different shaky head options if you want the stand-up head or just traditional round ball head that's good just about everywhere. 
And then also, uh, Heavy Metal Tungsten is coming out with teardrop shape and skinny drop shot weight. So got you covered on all bases for, uh, for tungsten. All right, next up from Strike King, we got a new swim bait head. So this is the new Baby Squadron head. So the original Squadron head, a great swim bait head. Now they've downsized it. Uh, perfect for all the finesse applications. This is the time of year to be using this thing. Uh, it's got a two aught black nickel hook on it, super sharp. This is ideal for all those, you know, two and a half inch or to three, three and a half inch maybe size swim baits. Uh, so when you really need to go down to the really, really small presentations, really slow, uh, you know, light line to get a bite, this is gonna be the head you wanna check out. All right, next up, we got a new reel from Abby Garcia. We got the new Abby Garcia. Revo MGX spinning reel. So the last Revo MGX was already an amazing spinning reel. They've done a, uh, a few different upgrades to it. They've reinforced the bail on here, so it's a little bit more heavy duty. They've also eliminated the anti-reverse switch on there. So no, no anti-reverse. You don't need it. The drag on this thing is buttery smooth, so you don't have to switch over and, and back reel, not, you know, if you're worrying about the drag, don't need it. And then since they've done that, they've went to an all one piece magnesium alloy body. So Super strong, rigid construction, super lightweight. It's got the carbon fiber handle on it. And one, another little key piece they've added onto the side is they added a little drop shot holder on there. Never seen that before. Super cool, I wish all reels had that. You know, uh, when you got all your, your rods stored away, that drop shot weight just flings around and gets everything tangled up. Now you got somewhere to put it, keep everything nice and organized. The reel also comes with a second spool. It's a much shallower spool, so you can put, you know, real light, you know, six, eight, 10 pound braid on there, something that, um, something that doesn't take up a lot of spool capacity. And then just has, you have the options. You can switch out, you know, throughout the day, carry two spools of line. You want to do different applications and only carry one reel. Uh, Abby Garcia has got you covered on that one. All right, we got a few storage uh, items for you today from Daiwa. So the first one is the new Daiwa DVEC vinyl soft bag. Um, super heavy duty construction on this. Uh, the vinyl on this thing is extra thick, so it's gonna, it's gonna resist wear and tear. You're gonna be able to be rough on this thing. You're gonna be able to go Ocean fishing, freshwater fishing, and you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of corrosion or this thing falling apart. A couple cool features on it. It does have a glasses holder on top, so if you're in low light conditions and you need somewhere to put your glasses, don't have to worry about them getting them torn up uh, right there on top of the bag. Also on the inside, comes with two boxes ready to go. You can add more boxes if you want to. These are 3,600 size boxes. All right, next up from Daiwa, we got their new Tactical View Organizer bags. So they come in three sizes. You got a, a medium, large, and XL. Uh, these are great for storing all types of products. Uh, you can throw bags, bags of hooks in there, plastics. Uh, you can throw you know, extra items of clothes that you don't want to get wet throughout the day and keep them inside your boat. Um, these are cool because they're made out of marine grade Epson glass, so they're not going to deteriorate and corrode and just fall apart over time. So they're going to last you a long time. And then they don't have, uh, you know, like a like a Ziploc style bag zipper on the top. They got a legit zipper on the top, so just much more reinforced, more durable. Uh, just cool bags there from Daiwa. All right, we got a bunch of new apparel here. Great for the holiday season. Pick up some new gear. Um, so we got a bunch of stuff from Z-Man. We got new hats. We got the foamy uh, chatterbait hat. We got the Ned hat. We got a bunch of new shirt designs. So make sure you go on the website and check out all the new shirts. They are. The cotton poly blend shirts, so they're super soft, super comfortable, not gonna shrink up like straight cotton shirts are. Last up from Sims, perfect for the cold weather. So we got the new Sims logger hoodie. So a cotton poly blend hoodie, really comfortable. You wear this, you know, watching football on the couch, out fishing, just a great hoodie to have. And then for that extreme cold weather, we got the new Sims West Fork jacket. So this is a this is like your puffy style jacket. It's it's filled with Prima Loft insulation, which is like a synthetic down but it retains an incredible amount of heat. I believe the top is Primaloft Gold insulation. So you put this thing on and you're gonna start getting hot instantly. Uh, it's amazing how warm this jacket is. And with the Primaloft insulation, it's not as thick as some of the other down jackets. So you're not looking like the Michelin man out there with a super puffy jacket. It's still relatively uh, low profile compared to some of the other ones out there, but still retains an amazing amount of heat. So great jacket for cold weather fishing. And then last up, we got the new Sims River Chucka Boot. So fully waterproof rubber boot here. Um, what Sims did with this is they've added in their, uh, their grid fleece liner in the inside, so it's really warm. They got the right angle footbed, so super comfortable to wear all day. Some of the rubber boots out there are not super comfortable to be, especially if you're standing up for you know, eight, 10 hours fishing. These, uh, these are extremely comfortable to wear all day. And then unlike traditional um, you know, rubber boat shoes that just have a slick bottom on them, 
Uh, Sims has got this multi-directional non-marking tread on the bottom. So not only, not only do they work great on a boat deck, but you can actually, when you get up on the bank to go get your truck or something, you're not gonna slip and fall in the mud like some of those other slick bottom rubber boots on there. At the little tab on the back, super easy to kick off. And then just the low cut design, a lot more comfortable than those, you know, neat, um, calf high boots out there. So great, uh, great option for uh, rainy weather out there. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information and purchase products seen here today, make sure to click shop with the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.